Musa, first of all, just welcome to Barnet Football Club. Uh, yeah, how, how, how does it feel to, to be here and, and get the deal sorted? I'm really happy. I'm really, I'm really happy because uh, Barnet is a great club with great history, and uh, to be joining this club and be part of of this club and try to build something this season is really exciting. You spent three years at Woking and was released at the end of last season. Uh, can you tell us how the move uh, here came about? Uh, when my contract was finished at, at Woking, I had to to move on. And um, I had a few interested clubs who wanted to sign me, but um, when Barnett come, I feel like I feel strong, I feel positive, especially because of Dino. Um, Dino was my first proper manager when I arrived to England, so he's the first one to teach me about it's the English football, Nordic football, and and uh, I'm really grateful for for that. And uh, when the opportunity to come to to play under him again, someone you trust, someone uh, who know you, who know how you play, who know your quality, your weakness, I think it's it's really important. You've, you've obviously just touched on Dina there. What, what other influences uh, were there in your, in your decision to come here? Because Barnett, um, even before I come to England, I knew about this club, you know, because Barnett is a really historical club. And uh, uh, I know, like, Barnett with Marcus Field as the two club who won the more trophy in this league, who won this league the most. And he's well known, and uh, it's a popular club, big club, like this level. So that's what made my decision. And I played there a few times. I really enjoy the atmosphere here. You, know. you, you've, played, you've played for the, for the likes of uh, Hemel Hempstead and, and, and Barrow and, and, and Dover. What were those experiences like for you? I had a great experience everywhere I've been, to be honest. You know, especially especially at Barrow. You know, Barrow was my first club in National League, and uh, it was really good. Only I only have a good memories about my old club, to be honest. And, and obviously, yeah, we've we, we touched on, on Dean a, a couple of times. What what the conversations been, been like with him um, since since, uh, since joining here? No, the, when when I heard like, when I spoke to Dino, I knew that it was it. I was gonna I was gonna sign for for Barnet. Like, you know, I had other interest, but as soon as I heard Dino was interested in me, especially. For Barnet, I got excited straight away. You you, you uh, played twice and, and scored once against Barnet last season uh, for, for for Woking and um, just just for the supporters that, that don't know um, a, a lot about you, can, can you describe the sort of player you are? Yes, I'm like I'm really play with my strength, you know. I'm really like physical and obviously I'm tall. I'm just a defender. I love to defend, you know. I love defending. That's something I really, I really enjoy defending. Like I could score a goal, but I would be more happy to save a goal or to make a nice tackle and you know a nice challenge. That's what excites me on the pitch, you know, the defending aspect. You know, you know, like now there's um, it, it changed now a bit. Like you know, defenders, you know, they play more. Like they're not so so aggressive or not really focus on the defending, defending side of things but I'm more like I describe myself more like your old school defenders you know that's how I describe myself and have you got any, any main, main ambitions or, or personal goals that you'd like to achieve here? yes I've got but I like to, to keep it for me you know I always got really really big uh, goals and really big achievement and uh, I'm sure I'm going to achieve it I'm 100% sure for me and for the club, and we've still got a few weeks until uh, still a few weeks until pre-season starts. Um, yeah. so, so you must be delighted to to, to get your deal done and, and sorted um, ahead of the new season. Yes, uh, it's better to do sooner than later. You know, like this, uh, you know where you're going, and you can like, focus proper focus on on sorting everything out, getting ready for the pre-season. You know, you know where your head is, where you're heading to. You know, it's. And you can get ready mentally and everything mentally, physically. You know. yeah. And what would you like to say to, to the uh, the Barnet supporters upon your arrival? For the Barnet supporters, 
Like, um, what can I say? Let's say I'm a warrior. I'll fight to the end. You know, that's what they can expect from me, 100%. I'm gonna go to war with them. That's for sure.